Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Web 6 News. So we have a trailer for Operation Crimson Sky, which features our brand new attacker. Watch this and then we'll go in depth on it. Getting the job done often requires a creative approach. That's where I come in. So there we go, that is our brand new operator for Operation Crimson Sky. Now, we're going to go in depth on it, but I cannot speculate on any content in this trailer because as of this morning, I got my presentation alongside other content creators. So I know all about this guy. I've played him today and I also know about year six as well. So um, yeah, I can obviously point out the stuff that's visually on screen, but you guys have to break it down even more in the comments below and see how you think he's going to actually work. So let's start with the drone. Obviously, he has a drone that he can place on the ground. It's bloody big. Like, it's at least, what, four times the size of a normal drone with very odd-looking wheels. And it obviously has quite a lot of LEDs on it as well. It's quite bright. And, yeah, he drives it off. You can see him controlling it with this little remote control, which is, uh, he looks, I don't know, he looks kind of cute, isn't it? Now, I can say because it's in the official blog that came along with this trailer that this guy is from Argentina. So he is our first Argentinian operator to join a Rainbow Six. And he is a thief, which I'm not, you know, probably too surprised by the fact it's called Crimson Heist. So, and of course, we've seen Rainbow Six Siege very much move away from counter-terrorism. And we've seen operators come from all kinds of backgrounds. Although I don't know how he uses his drone to steal stuff. Maybe it has more functions than we know of. But certainly he drives it off and he's controlling it with his little remote control here. And then, boom. Now, this would imply, I think, that the drone has just exploded. Now, in-game, is it going to instantly explode as soon as he presses the button? Because, man, that would be overpowered if he could just drive up to someone, blow it up immediately, and get away, you know, scot-free. Also, how many is he going to have? Is he also going to have his normal drones as well? Because even if he just had normal drones plus these drones, that's a lot of intel if he's able to get them all out. And that's it. The trailer kind of ends there with obviously the confirmation of his name, which is Flores, and he is an attacker, and he's got these rose-tinted glasses. So, yeah, this is our brand new attack and operator. The trailer is super short. Bit of a pity, but I guess it is quite a nice tease. And the actual reveal will be on February 21st at 12 o'clock EST. Now, there will be Twitch drops if you want to go watch this where you can get packs. I think it's every hour now. But the charms and the Chankin bundle that was going to be on the Twitch drops are gone. Uh, presumably, they'll be, you know, rescheduled for the actual six invitation and whatever that actually happens. Um, but yeah, that's the full reveal going to be on February 21st. Of course, we'll also hear about year six as well. So what do you guys think about this guy and the potential of this drone? When the first leaks came out about this dude and his abilities, I kind of thought, hmm, kind of sounds a bit boring. Like we just had a Rooney who is super complicated, which is a good thing. I like complex operators and a Rooney was right up there as the most complicated operator I'd ever, you know, actually tested with doing like my Mythbuster series. Whereas this guy reminds me much more of year one, season one and season two, where we had Frost and Buck who were super simple. Then we had Valkyrie and Blackbeard, who again were super simple. Even, of course, the Valkyrie cameras were a little bit more complicated. They were just, you know, default cameras that you could throw. So they were all very simple operators. And back then when the game just started and those were the first operators to come out, I was a little bit worried because I thought they're really simple. Like I want more complicated characters. And this guy kind of reminds me of that start of Siege where those operators came in super simple and this guy seems to be kind of along that kind of vein although looking forward to actually going in depth and seeing if there's any good interactions between him and his teammates and of course him and the enemy as well now how is he also going to get used is he you know is he a fragger do you send these drones in to get kills do you use them to destroy gadgets is it a big radius of destruction small radius there's a lot that could work or not work with this guy. And it could be like those first operators where they're really boring, but actually 
like Frost, Buck, Blackbeard and Valkyrie are all like staples of the game. They are all super simple operators but they really have found their place in the game. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this guy so far with the teasers you've got and I will catch you next time.